In this video, I'm going to show you how to find patterns and profiles from the ProSite database in your protein structure or sequence data using Protein 3D. To get started, open a file in Protein 3D by clicking on one of the quick links from the Details panel. Here I have a PDB file for the structure of the HIV GP120 glycoprotein, shown in green, in complex with the VRCO3 antibody, shown in yellow and blue. So to apply ProSight, first I'm going to open the analysis view and I'm going to zoom out a bit so that I can see the analysis methods for all chains at once. And then I'm going to go to the methods panel and check domains and sites ProSight. And here you can see that the resulting patterns are listed under the method name and on the analysis view. Each pattern is only listed once here, even though it may occur in multiple places within a sequence or between sequences. So for example, if I select IG-like, you can see that this pattern is found in four places on the two antibody sequences. So in total, we have three unique patterns found between the two antibody sequences, but none in the HIV sequence. By default, the ProSite search excludes all frequent patterns from the display. If we want to see where frequent pattern matches lie, double click on ProSite from the methods panel to open the parameters dialog, and then click show all patterns. Now the frequent patterns are listed in the results and shown as colorful pins along each chain. You'll notice this legend shows which pin corresponds to each frequent pattern match. And it also serves as a shortcut to selecting all of the pattern hits of a given type in a single sequence. Notice that with each selection I make, the corresponding region is also selected in the sequence view and the structure view. If I want to look at analysis methods and structure simultaneously, I can move the analysis view down. Also notice that with each selection, information about the pattern match is shown in the details panel. From the details panel, you can get basic information about the pattern match, such as the score and matching sequence, or more detailed information from the ProSite website. Again, let's select all the IG-like patterns. If I then click Show Documentation in ProSite, I can read more about this domain. Here we see that this pattern is involved in binding, which makes sense since this was found in the antibody sequences. It also states that classic IG-like domains are composed of several beta strands between multiple sheets. And this corresponds to what we're seeing in the structure view.